be um how do you say concerning in a mm -hmm. sense in the, in the business that in the in the social work mm -hmm. business you find a lot of kids that are lost or people that are lost oh, of course. in the system and it's great to see people um like yourself that take a, a real interest in your job and you care about what you do i do and, certainly and, care and, but you're all human beings stephanie mm -hmm. we're all human beings to me that's the bottom line we're all human beings mm -hmm. and sometimes a client will say why do you call me sir i thought because you're a man mm -hmm. you're a male and you're yeah, as far as i know okay mm -hmm. and you're a human being right mm -hmm. and they look at me and say yeah respect you don't have to be over 85 to refer to call you sir you know mm -hmm. Can I, an, another question I'd like yeah. to ask you, do you miss the company of a man or having a husband? Do you miss that? Not terribly in that sense, no, I don't. Because um, I still have exposure mm -hmm. to men in my life, okay? Perhaps that's part of it, I, mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, now, yeah. you know, because a lot of women today, mm -hmm. whether they're single mm -hmm. or they're widowed, mm -hmm. they have talked to me in the past mm -hmm. about the fact that they missed the company mm -hmm. of men, but, they're, <coughs> they're, but they're, they're weary of the way men are today. Mm -hmm. um, because either mm -hmm. um, the men that are interested in their either after their money or mm -hmm. just not um, not good for them. Yes, yes, and, I, I, I understand um, cause as that. Because as we get older and we get I settled in, our, in yeah. our ways, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes our... Um, needs and wants takes us out of our comfort mm -hmm. zone. This is true. Now, what's your advice to women that are comfortable with themselves, meaning their job, their, the, the way they are at home, mm -hmm. but yet still open to a relationship? As my dear father used to say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Which is now, true. If it, yes, if it works for you, mm -hmm. if you're happy in it, you don't have to uh, meet anybody else's expectations or mm -hmm. aspire to anything other than what your own aspirations are. That's why I've always looked at life. I was taught that by my parents, who are wonderful people. So what do you think make men and women, when there's, the, all of a sudden, you know, a lot of times men and women are, they say they're in a happy relationship. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, what do you think make men and women fall out of love? What, what like, what, like, Geez, I guess that's the age old answer. Somebody could solve that, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I don't really know that I have an answer for that per se. Mm -hmm. I would say that things change. You can see people, people change as they grow older. Mm -hmm. They want different things. They aspire to different things. And perhaps what originally worked for them you know, mm -hmm. 40 years prior doesn't work for them now. As far as actually falling out of love, yes, maybe they met somebody else. Maybe they didn't. Maybe they just, you know... Mm -hmm. Life, life happens. People, people change. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. Change is, change is always in the cards. Mm -hmm. You know, we can never guarantee anything, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. I wish we could, having said that, but we can't. Mm -hmm. And whatever, uh, wherever life takes us, it takes us. Mm -hmm. So, let's say, do do you have any brothers and sisters? No, I don't. Not that I'm aware of. Oh. <laughs> I, I say not that I'm aware of because I was adopted. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was adopted, so not that I'm aware of. Oh, now. Okay, now um, just a few more yeah, questions yeah, of course, for that's you. Fine, that's fine. Um, what if you were to look for a man today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What sort of man would you be interested in? What kind of man would sure. interest you? I'd be interested in somebody who was honest, mm -hmm. somebody who was uh, actually a human being, mm -hmm. or like we say in, in Jewish, a mensch, which means a real person. Mm -hmm. You know, a real genuine person. Um, has those important qualities, you know, honesty, mm -hmm. integrity, you know, comes with good character, certainly an animal lover, you oh. know, in my <laughs> case, certainly that has mm -hmm. to be, um, somebody who would respect me for what I am, mm -hmm. um, I guess the only other thing I would say, like, that's, that, that's the important, some of the important things, mm -hmm. uh, other things that would be like somebody quite frankly, I'd like somebody who has a car, mm -hmm. somebody for companionship, mm -hmm. that would be nice. Somebody to have dinner with, okay, mm -hmm. he would be nice. Somebody to drive me to the grocery store <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> now, when you say that you um, you were working in social work, yes. and mostly with men, yes, did any of these men come on to you? Oh, like, yes. Make propositions to you? Oh, yes. And, and, oh, yeah. and, and how did you deal with that as a, as a, as a, in a professional mm -hmm. sense? 
in some ways it was quite easy, Stephanie, because you know you had the rule of the land, mm-hmm. being whatever agency you're representing at that point, that was part of it, okay? Mm-hmm. So it's easy to turn and say, look, I'm sorry, it's against company policy, but to take you a step further, Joe, mm-hmm. you know, John, whichever, um, no, this would not be appropriate for me to, you know, overlap and from a professional capacity with you into a personal relationship. Wonderful. Yeah. You know, um, when I was, when I thought about this show, mm. I thought, what questions should I ask mm. her? What should we talk about? And what, what, what is important? Yeah. And I thought to myself, what was important is the fact that we need to understand that older people do still have a desire to make love, most assuredly, to be loved, most assuredly. and to feel <coughs> to feel special and look pretty. And as uh-huh. women, that is something that's very important in our lives. Mm-hmm. It is now. Um, on my final thoughts. Yes. Um, thank you for coming. Oh, on it's to my, my pleasure. Show. I've enjoyed it. Um, I've enjoyed it. It's been fun. Yeah. I, so, what is your? What would be your advice for women? Can you sum it up for us to say about beauty? men and just the fact of aging and feeling special just give us a little quick rundown of advice in those let's just say let's start with the beauty okay again i have to say whatever makes you happy whatever turns your crank as i said at the beginning of the show Mm -hmm. whatever does it for you Mm -hmm. that's important i don't i don't believe in life you can present to others Mm -hmm. if you don't feel good about yourself Mm -hmm. that's just my opinion of course um like for example, I'm walking in this store, in this big store, and you approach me. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, so obviously I'm approachable. I think that's important. Yes. You see, so mm-hmm. you have to. Not like I could turn on giving you a look, like, mm-hmm. you know, or received you, which I did. I received you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I think that's important. It's how you present in life, which makes you approachable. Okay, mm-hmm. and people I think can see that in your demeanor. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, to, I'm trying to sum up, I'm, I haven't forgotten your, your original question, mm-hmm. but really all I can say again is whatever makes you happy, whatever does it for you. Mm-hmm. you know, I think that's important, young, old, whatever. And I think it's important for women to dress up and they don't need to make excuses for feel, wanting to feel not and look at all, beautiful. Not at all. Not at all. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give you my final thoughts. Okay, Because sure. I wrote a little bit about all right, this. sure. Okay. My final thoughts is to, um, to see older people still living and thriving in a positive manner and not giving up and being active, keeping their mind and body working. So... Thank you, Marilyn, for sharing your story with us. My you're pleasure. An is, you're an inspiration. And you Thank know what? You. I Let's go shopping. There's a plan. Let's Never go turn shopping. that down. Never turn that down. No. So, thank you so much for being my on pleasure. my show. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining me on the Stephanie Stevens thank Show. You. This is Marilyn Wilson. Um, today, we talked about men, sex, <laughs> aging, and the fact of just feeling beautiful and fabulous over 70. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you, Marilyn, for my having my show. Game. My that pleasure. was great. My pleasure. I'm Thank glad you, you enjoyed so it. My much. pleasure. My pleasure. It was fun. Thank you.